Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to create a project on a STM32 F401 RE Nucleo board. And we are going to use STM32 CubeMX. As you know, this 32 CubeMX is one of the most simplest graphical user interface which is used for creating a project for all STM32 devices. So here just uh, you need to click on new project then it will load a new window where you can select a board and uh, it is Nucleo 64 board and the microcontroller series is F4 and the controller is F401 RE this is a board name and even you can see the details of board here this board can be operated on external 5 volt and external 3.3 volt okay and there are two Marfo connectors fine 2 into 38 and Arduino connector is also 10 plus 2 into 8 plus 6 and there are two buttons user buttons and the reset buttons and there is one LED and uh, there is virtual COM port okay so let's click on ok now here you can see it is stm32 f401 retx and uh, it is a 64 lqf package and uh, almost these uh, which pins are yellow these pins these pins are power supply pins either it is uh, vcc or ground and these gray pins are into the reset pin reset mode and these uh, green pins uh, has been already defined for uh, some purpose and as you know this PC13 is a blue push button that's when PC13 is connected with the push button and here it is a PA5 and it is connected with the green LED okay so first of all that we need to clear out these pins so you just clear out all these pins and almost all pins input output GPIO pins has been uh, all input output GPIO pins became into gray color so now here we need to select RCC select RCC HSC into crystal and ceramic mode and and also we need to select our GPIO pins which is connected with the LED and in this case GPIO PA5 is connected with the LED so here we need to select the PA5 now you need to see here now it is highlighted so click on here and select it as a GPIO out and let's come to the clock configuration into the clock configuration 84 megahertz has been already defined here and this nuclear board also can be run on maximum 84 megahertz and let's come to the configuration and in the configuration here we do not need to define DMA and uh, also we do not uh, need to configure all these uh, in VIC configurations only we need to configure RCC global interrupt okay and here it is both same so it is already defined RCC global interrupt and here it is a parameter settings there are two options 5 volt or 3.3 volt instruction cache prefetch buffer and data cache all these has been already enabled here just you click on ok and let's come to the GPIO connection in the GPIO connection all is well we do not need to uh, disturb anything here so just click on ok now we need to generate our code so click on this generate code it will open a new window for project setting so here we need to give a project name before that we have to select a project location so here we have selected a YouTube folder okay now we need to give project name let's say it LED underscore blink 
and the tool chain MDK ARM version 5 and here you can see minimum heap size 1 KB is defined okay and minimum stack size is 512 byte and uh, code generator select copy only the necessary HAL files and HAL libraries and here keep user code when regenerating it will help you to modify your uh, modify your uh, uh, configuration project configuration directly via stm32 cubemx without losing any user code in your uh, klmdk tool so here what we need to click on ok so see here just uh, open this project now you will see when you open a project in application user there are three files interrupt files hal msp files and the main files so please open this main file and you can see here copyright 2016 and it is auto generated all these cores by 32 cube mx okay and uh, if you want to include your own uh, header files then you can include in between these two comments if you include here your uh, header files and uh, the next time when you will generate regenerate your code that will be lost so it is written here clearly user code begin includes and user code end includes so if you add your uh, include code here in between these two comments then it will be preserved and here if you want to define any private variables then you can define here your private variables so let's come to here here it is main and this main is calling three function hall initialization and clock configuration initialization and the gpio initialization so this is a clock configuration running on 84 megahertz and here gpio initialization pin number 5 of port a see here gpio a pin 5 so only we need to toggle gpio a pin number 5 so we can write here into the main code so please remember here we need we need to write in between these two comments as it is written here user code begin 3 and user code end 3 so only we can write here otherwise it will lost so now here trick is we don't remember what we need to write here and which type of function we need to write here to toggle our LED so simply you can click on a function now it will list all the functions which is available to use in uh, to be used in this code so we need this gpio.c and click on here so here you can see all these functions into the gpio.c you can use so we use this toggle function so all gpio toggle pin okay. <coughs> okay two tab hall underscore gpio underscore toggle pin now you can see now we need to give a gpio it is gpio a and then gpio pin so here we need to gpio a and then gpio underscore pin underscore and it is pin number 5 ok so here we have defined gpio toggle pin number 5 and then we need to give some delay so hall gpio sorry hall underscore delay and delay will be defined into the millisecond let's say it is a 5 millisecond let's say 200 millisecond okay that's it what we need here you can go here in target option into the debug menu into the setting you just need to verify your device is connected arm core inside arm core side and here port SW is selected maximum clock is 4 megahertz into the flash download you can select here reset and run and then click on ok and ok and just compile this code it will take a little bit time to compile because of that it is first time it will build all these files ok fine here you can see 0 error and the 0 warning and the code size is 2.5 kb and you need to just uh, click on this download button 
and it will download into the board now if I change this 200 to 500 and uh, compile the code and click on download so you see here now the frequency uh, has become 1 hertz that means uh, uh, it is uh, blinking on and off at every 1 second so thanks for watching and stay tuned for next tutorial.